Hello, welcome back to Banda Sushi Live Noting. Um, there are a lot of ways to make like um, or organic um, cube, kind of like abstract looking cube, uh, but looks uh, kind of nice. So I'm going to show you two more ways to do it. So the first one on the left, this one was actually made using uh, the convex hull with, with a slightly uh, different from before. Before I was using maybe just random points. But in this case, I actually started with a box. And because I want to keep the shape of the box itself, I just simply scatter uh, random points on the mesh. So, so basically, I have a bunch of points on top of face. And then after I do that, I have this uh, randomized, randomized uh, node and then also convex hull. So convex hull is really cool to allow you simply to kind of like a wrap uh, wrap a mesh um, on top of whatever points you you pass it in so that's one the second one is slightly strange I uh, actually originally I wanted to use this KD3 closest edges but I end up simply just using this uh, cur bevel a curve this this node has a I think has a weird name I think it can be the name of this node can be better. It's currently just named bevel a curve. Basically, you pass in something like a circle, and then it's simply gonna loft on top of the whatever curve you're passing it in, or in this case, just points. Um, so this is actually just kind of like a pipe um, based on the points. Okay. So what's cool, however, from this point on, this seemingly random, weird-looking noodle organic box, you can I, I just make a duplicate, and then if you use Foxtel Remesh, uh, you can actually use Sorcar if you want to keep this alive. You simply um, Foxtel Remesh it, so you get this really organic-looking cube. So I think that's kind of interesting. Just so you can shade smooth it and just apply a texture. Oh, actually, you don't have UV, so you want to kind of project a UV. So let's actually try. If you want to keep this alive, we can try Sorcar. I haven't used Sorcar for a while now. So object data. So we have. Okay, custom okay, custom object. Sorcar actually continues continuously being improved. So, uh, Foxel image. Okay, this is the object. That's gonna be the output. Sorcar create the output. And we have remesher over here. So remesher set it to not too small of number, just 0 0.04 maybe. We have something underneath. Maybe we want to transform it. Okay, transform. Just set preview. Move it to the side. So this is something that Sorcar generated based on whatever Stretchock will create. Ah, in order for this to update, I believe we we need to use frame info and how do we update this real time turn on real time and then just scrub so if we make changes and then in it just a so this will update because we turn on real time if we play it back um, it will actually update. So if I plug in frame into the seed and just scrub through, we're gonna have this generator, organic cube generator. So one, two, three, go jump to different frame, just kind of jump in different seed. So this is kind of fun quite meditative you basically have unlimited 
ways to create a cube. All right, so there you go. That's a very simple way to create an organic cube. There are millions of ways to do this, of course, um, but hopefully you learn two new ways to do it. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.